And I would like to talk uh, about some history, so going back to 90s, the end of 90s and the 2000s, when the internet has um, got this widespread in Russia. Um, you know, uh, everybody is hearing about this acute trend of internet fragmentation and Russia and all, all other BRICS countries are kind of a flagship in this process. So. We are accused of this bad activity of fragmenting internets on the uh, local, local, uh, national sovereign uh, internet internets, like in the plural number. Uh, but I must, um, I must deliver some kind of history how it started in Russia, and that's why I believe that this fragmentation and localization of internet inside the national borders is not possible for us, hopefully. So. Uh, it will be surprising to some of you, but uh, the state has no hand in internet development in Russia at the beginning. So basically it was on the shoulders of public organizations, of research organizations uh, that was connected to communications and, te uh, and telecom. And um, personally I witnessed uh, this emergence of internet in Russia when I was growing up, it was my uh, school time. Uh, I was living in a small, uh, closed at the time settlement that was a home to uh, Russian army officers on duty. And I witnessed the process when the internet emerged in our settlements. So primarily it was uh, a local network uh, between the personal computers in the households for those people who have them. And uh, it's very interesting uh, how the network was used at the time so it was kind of uh, sharing the audio files, sharing the video, sharing the films, or even playing some games on the network uh, connection. But then uh, we have s two uh, internet service providers with the access to the global internet. And uh, the status of our settlement changed, it became open and uh, things were growing up. And I must say that this story is kind of similar in all other small cities around our huge country. So if you will um, look not only at, at Moscow, at St. Petersburg, or other big cities that have millions of populations, the uh, development of internet in other areas were kind of grassroots. And that's why we have uh, a bunch of uh, service providers that have this transborder internet exchange points. Uh, and, um, you know, you've been hearing much about the plans of Russian government to kind of um, implement the Chinese model of the Great Firewall in Russia. And the talks are still uh, going in the, uh, the state Duma, in the government, that they are trying to discuss how to implement them. But the fact is that uh, now we have among about uh, 2,000 of exchange, internet exchange points with a broad connection. And uh, when it comes to politics and uh, technology, uh, the, la the latter wins because you know uh, it's very different. Uh, it's very difficult to rebuild the whole system, the whole uh, network that was built in Russia in terms of internet uh, access to the global network. Um, so um, yeah, it, it pretty costly and uh, it's pretty useless. So that's why I'm still believing that uh, these plans of the government to localize our internet will be buried down at the table.